Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boyston Grove, and today we're gonna make the John Carter Helium Sword. Let's get into it. You gonna need to stand behind me. This might get dangerous. Usually I stick to practical builds, either something that fills a need that I have or something that I think that y'all will find useful. But every once in a while, I just feel like doing something just for the heck of it, something fun. In 2012, Disney put out a movie called John Carter based on a novel, and at that time, it was one of the most expensive movies ever made. But it completely bombed, making it one of Hollywood's biggest losses ever. But despite all that, they used some really cool swords in this movie, so I thought it would be really fun to recreate one out of wood. Because I need to resaw a board that is much larger than my table saw fence, I use some carpet tape to attach a piece of plywood to my table saw fence. This will help keep the board standing straight. If you've been watching my videos, then you might recognize this wood from my Home Depot trash haul a while back. I resawed the board to half an inch and this will be the thickness of the blade. I found a few sample photos online and blew them up to the correct scale to use as a template. Having spray adhesive around the shop is super useful. I use mine all the time. But when you get your spray adhesive, you wanna pay real close attention to this number right here. Because the higher this number is, the higher the strength of the spray adhesive is gonna be. And the higher the strength is, the more your templates are gonna stick and be harder to get off of your project surface. So I like to go no higher than about 45. And sometimes it's really hard to find this variety at your local box store. So you may have to order it online, but one can is gonna last a long time. The bandsaw would be ideal to cut this out, but mine is still out of commission, so the jigsaw it is. I did suffer one mishap while cutting it out, but it was a pretty easy fix. I peeled the template back off of the blade so I could reuse it to cut out the scales of the handle. I used a piece of cherry for the scales, resawing it on the table saw and then cutting them out on the scroll saw. Then I sanded and shaped everything on the bench sander. I used the router to put a small chamfer on the handle scales. The sword features some etching on either side of the handle, so I printed another template and used some graphite paper to transfer the designs onto the blade. Then I used my Dremel with a carving bit to carve out the designs. I'll leave a link to the bit that I used in the description. As much as I love natural wood, I decided to paint the sword. I started with a coat of gloss black. This is supposed to enhance the look of the metallic top coat. A little trick that I learned from Bill over at Punished Props. 
Then I went over the black with a few coats of metallic silver. I decided to use some two-part epoxy to attach the handle scales and added a few pin nails to help hold them in place. I dug up some leather straps to partially wrap the handle per the photos that I had found. Hot glue held up great on the leather that I put on the bat lift, so I decided to use it here as well. Then it was time for some weathering. Just some watered down brown acrylic paint for a wash, and I think I can call this project done. All right, our John Carter helium sort is finished. And I gotta tell you, I'm really happy with how this came out. The weathering really just kicked it up a notch. It took away that kind of fake metallic look and just gave it a nice worn look. It almost looks totally legit. I know this isn't like the normal projects that we do. So let me know in the comments below what you thought of this out of the ordinary project. We work on a new project every week. So make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you very much for watching. Be safe and have a great day.